Hi everyone. This is Dr. Srikanth from team INBD Conquer. Now I'm going to give a brief idea of what we need to do with our first subject that is endodontics. So I feel like compared to most of the subjects endo is a bit easy. So this is uh, the game plan of endo in front of you. So for the convenience I have divided the endo topics into following things and whatever i have mentioned are most important things when compared to the leftover things so among the list of the topics the biggest topic is going to be others okay so where many other topics are being included but the most important topics are as listed above that is the diagnosis part of endo like uh, apart from the normal diagnosis of endo we are going to discuss the diagnosis from all the aspects okay so a few few aspects from uh, the diagnosis of i mean like more more over will be oriented towards endodontic diagnosis but a bit of aspects of oral surgery or oral radiology or oral medicine and many other topics are going to be discussed so that's what called as integrated approach which we have discussed in the last class okay so endo oh, endo uh, like endodontic diagnosis i want to keep two days for you as you are going to start it and coming to the internal anatomy okay so coming to the internal anatomy in this internal anatomy we'll be talking about the individual teeth internal anatomy okay whereas your external anatomy is again going to be discussed in your dental anatomy okay dental anatomy you are going to talk both about internal anatomy as well as external anatomy of, of course in endodontic point of view internal internal anatomy is more important so internal anatomy i'm going to drop one day so when i'm talking about the pulp biology all the cells that is uh, the the nature of pulp the nerves that are present in the pulp the cells that are present in the pulp the vessels that are present in the pulp and all the all those stuff we are going to discuss and i'm going to drop one day and pain uh, yes of course pain is again internally related to your nerves and everything so it's going to be part of your uh, pulpal biology itself okay the same and uh, the axis opening is again internally related with uh, uh, the internal anatomy but axis opening where i'm going to talk about few important instruments which helps in axis opening and of course the shapes of the different axis opening of different teeth we are going to talk that's going to be one day so of course the biggest part is instrumentation in endodontics so i'm going to drop two days for it because i'm go we're going to talk about all the types of instruments which are used at different levels or in different steps of endodontics then comes the material aspect material aspect is very important we're going to talk two days and uh, we're going to talk about the endodontic surgery for one day and the resorptions for one day so apart from this the specific topic called as others so what others contains internally we're going to discuss on the group okay so we're going to discuss that uh, on the group so <clears throat> yeah this others will contain your uh, some some topics and definitions about the working length some topics and definitions uh, about the biomechanical preparation and how which which has more advantages which is most regularly used and then we are going to talk about the obturation obturation techniques of course obturation materials we are going to talk in materials but uh, the techniques we are going to talk in others similarly there are many other minor important aspects which are very very important in examination point of view especially the case based discussions case based so uh, uh, according to me at every level we are going to talk about this integrated integrated case based discussions okay by giving uh, by giving the clinical features and some information and history from the patient we are going to talk about the all the aspects what is the material of choice what is the treatment option what is the diagnosis and all these aspects are going to be discussed in the case based discussion so you we may start i mean like we'll have one sort of case based discussion in the initial phase that is during the diagnosis part and further in others we'll have two to three case based discussions okay so where i'm going to drop two days for others and followed by the doubts and the student's choice so along with the revision doubts and the student's choice okay we're going to have two to three days so this is a rough schedule of endo what we have planned for you so considering endo as a first subject so i'm going to give a bit more time and compare to most other subjects and make sure you try to give your best make a note endo is completely separated from operative dentistry so endo has good importance <coughs> similarly your operative dentistry will have the same importance it's not 
like it's not the combination of endo and operative considered as one subject in your INBD. Okay, make a note. Only in Indian based entrances where endo and operative are considered as one subject, whereas most of the entrances throughout the country they are considered as two subjects. So endo is one of the special subject which has good weightage in your examination hall. So it's going to be easy and it's going to be special. So give some care, love, so that you can retain the subject for a good amount of time. Yes, done for now. Signing off, Dr. Srikanth from Team INBD Conquer.